Welcome to the Pow Wow with Myra, where each week we bring you an inspiring person and their stories to help us discover different ways to see life and its challenges. My focus sits on being thoughtful, engaging, and entertaining. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. So jiu-jitsu is where we met. Uh, tell me, Julie, tell me a little bit about you, where you come from. Where I come from? Yeah. I'm a farm girl. Born and raised on a farm up in the panhandle, Hereford, Texas. There's more cows in Hereford than there are people, of course. <laughs> and, of course, the feed yards. You know when you're getting close. People say, what's that smell? And they say, it's the smell of money, man. <laughs> but anyway, um, of course, I wanted to get off the farm, and so I went to Lubbock. That was the closest place. And I got with this company called Andritz. And I have been employed with them since 1978. Wow. I'll be going out at 45 years. Wow. And we relocated to Arlington in 1980. Okay. And so that's how I ended up down here. Wow. So you've been here since 1980 mm -hmm. with, with this company. And what, what do you do? Or what oh, have you? Or where did you start? I've been in every position. I've been the janitor. I've been uh, in accounting. I did the their flight reservation, American Airlines Saber system. If you ever, heard, if you, you're too young, I bet you don't. Even <laughs> heard that. Yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, every position, project manager. Anyway, when my son was born, and he's going to be 34 next week. I moved into spare parts outside, uh, inside sales mm. and been there ever since. Love my customers. They love me. I'm telling them I'm going to retire next month. They, they're so sad. Oh. But it's time. Yeah. And last year in June, I told my son, I need some other kind of exercise because I've been exercising for years. But it's just not getting me there, you know? I just, I don't know, Clay, what should I do? And he said, Mom, you need to get into jujitsu." <laughs> I said, like what you're doing? Yeah. So I Googled jujitsu and up came Harris Street Alvarez jujitsu, And I Googled it. So I went in. And, of course, they give you the 30-day spiel, you know. My first day of rolling... I said, they said, what do you think? I said, oh, my gosh, this is it. So I signed up right then. and Didn't uh, wait another day. No, I didn't. Uh, they gave me the spiel, you know, if you pay for the whole year, you can save this much. Well, I'm a farm girl. I'm into saving money. So <laughs> I went with that, of course. <laughs> I like that. So I don't that. have to worry about that. Uh -huh. And they had 6 a.m. classes, which I've always gotten. I used to work, go to the YMCA right down the street from there, 5 a.m. And wow. so this was right up my alley. Well, then Betsy came along. No, she was there a week before. Yes. And she said she rolled with younger girls, and she told Senior, Danny Senior, if there's any older women... Give him my number. <laughs> yeah. So that's how we clicked. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's our story now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, we... such a, that's such a crazy story. And, like, so the timing is just incredible. Oh, I know it. It was. In fact, I, did, I got the packet and I went over to babysit Bella, my granddaughter. And Clay said, what's this? And I said, well, I signed up. He said, already? I thought you were going to wait till next year. And I said, well, you know, they had this deal. <laughs> so I might as well start it. Oh, and then Betsy, Betsy wanted to roll with Danny. She wanted, she wanted an evening class. And so we worked it out where now I'm doing four days a week, Monday, wow. Wednesday, Friday, and then Thursday night. Wow. So I'm getting all my rolling. And then I kind of take the weekend to. Recoup. To relax. Well, yeah, because to recover. I'm not a spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so what was it like? What was it about you? Like the first class that you said, "This is it." Like, what? What was it about it? 
the rolling and the different moves. I mean, I, I thought, okay, what do I need to do to prepare myself for this? So I could, well, you don't, you, you just, you, you get all your exercise and doing all those different moves, you know? And so you don't need to prepare. You just need to go in there and try, try, see it. what happens. Tough it up, man. Those, <laughs> but those bear crawls, oh, they yeah. brought those bear crawls in about two months after I started. Yeah. So KJ, every time he says, all right, we're doing two sets of bear crawls. Oh, KJ, no, no. He said, oh, Miss Julie, you only have to do one. <coughs> well, I try to do them all just to be a, a good sport. Yeah. You know, and, and I've heard Danny say, man, if Julie can keep running and doing those bear, you can get out there and do it too. You kids, you get going. Uh-huh. <laughs> they have no, you've set the bar high. Well, I'm just one that's. I'm going to show up every day. I'm sh I, I'm dedicated. I give 150% and I'm going to show up every day. I'm, I, this jujitsu is, it's got to be muscle memory for me mm. because I can't remember thing. You know, I'm somewhere not clear. So I just need to do it over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I think as long as I show up every day and do, give it my best, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a belt one day. I'm not sure which. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Because I think like that consistency in that, that, that thought of like, just, I'm just going to show up every day Yeah. and, and learn that's, that's, that's very, I don't know, very impressive. How did, have you always been like that? Did, did you, do you like it or is yes, it? Yes, I love it. You love, oh, good. I do. I do. Oh, okay. Good, good. Uh, have you always been this way active oh yeah well i was trying to think back in 95 i went on a safari to africa oh. and before we went i thought now we're going to be crawling on the ground and all <laughs> this and so i gotta get in shape and so i started working out oh so okay. i've been working out at gyms or someplace since 95 now how many years is that how many, Matt? Logan, how many years is that? 90, 27 years. 27 years. Well, actually, it's 95? more than that. It's even more than that. It's 105. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 20, well, 28. Well, 28 years. I've been working out all my life. My mom, have you ever heard of Jack LaLanne? Jack, no. The, the, the juicer? <laughs> Jack LaLanne. Mom, mom, uh. He did exercises every Saturday morning or something. Mom would be in the living room doing her exercises, mm. and all of us girls picked it up. I'm one of four girls. There's seven in my family, two brothers, four sisters. So where do you land? Well, since there were five girls, I ended up being a tract. I ended up having to be a boy and be the uh, drive tractor, help drive tractor on the farm because the boys were older. So I'm the third from the bottom. Okay. To you had to drive the tractors. Oh well, yeah, we had to plow and hoe hoe weeds. We'd have to do the the we had cotton and wheat and all of that, and we'd have to go through and pull the weeds out of the. Feels. We'd get up at seven in the morning while it was cool. All your siblings. All of all of us kids would go out and and work till about eleven in the morning till it got hot. Then we'd get to come in and relax. Okay. And then go back out when it got cooler in the evening. <laughs> okay. I mean, we were the helpers. Yeah. They didn't hire help. Yeah. No, I you I know? I right, and I I I can relate with that in the sense of when I think of like even how my family grew up, mm -hmm. very similar, right? They had to all kind of get up and go and help help work the fields so that they can have food we did, that winter. We did garden. Okay. We did a big garden, so we canned. I mean, okay, canned, okay. put up vegetable. I mean, because for the winter. You know, and then we, we raised chickens. Um, we even sold eggs in town. We would, uh, I mean, we'd, we'd get the chickens as little pullets, put them on the incubator, uh -huh. and r raise them up, and, and they all laid eggs, and we'd wash the eggs and put them in their boxes and s sell them in town. So that's where the uh, the cells came in you, huh? <laughs> <I was laughs> <Yeah. born. laughs> 
<laughs> wow, that is so cool. And how did you guys go to school nearby or was yes, it? Yes, we went to Catholic school. We were Catholic and so and you know uh private schools are expensive, but that was one thing that I mean, we were going to go to Catholic school. When you remember your childhood, how what comes in mind? Oh, like was it, was it, was it, was, well, I mean, it was a good childhood. And of course, you know, we fought with our brothers and sisters and, and, uh, Ooh, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> yeah. So you mentioned your mom also was, uh, uh, sh- she would, she would work out a lot. She, right. Yeah. She so, would work out. She, she didn't work outside of the home mother. Okay. You know, she wanted to be a nurse. Mm. And so eventually she started volunteering at the hospital and she ended up with like 70,000 hours of, yeah. I mean, she got awards for how many <gasps> hours that she volunteered, volunteered. Mm-hmm. So being raised Catholic, was it a strict household? Did you guys have strict rules? Or was it was it more like you guys would have more freedom to do what you guys wanted to do? Or? Well, we were 12 miles out in the country, so we didn't have a whole lot of free. I mean, what we mm. could do in that area that we could roam in, you know. So what did, what did you guys do as like uh, like for fun or did you have much leisure? Well, I remember growing up. Or was, uh, or was it mostly working? We would mostly work, and oh, I think, it was. but wow. but we would go in the on Sunday. Well, on Saturday nights, we would get we'd watch Lawrence Welk with mom. <laughs> we'd have our hair in our rollers, and then Sunday morning we'd she'd put a roast in the oven. Mm. Okay, then we'd go to church, and then we'd come home, and the smell of that roast. Mm. And then for fun, we would go visit cousins. Okay. On Sunday afternoons, we would jump the car and go and, and play with our cousins. And, and our family is big. Like the last reunion, there were over 350 people. Wow. And this is from, let's see, seven descendants from the first mom, and then five more from the second mom. So anyway, needless to say, Catholics have a lot of kids. <laughs> so they multiplied, and so there was hundreds. There's hundreds. 300. There were over 300. That over. was the last five years ago they had one. Wow. So do you know all these 300 no, members? But, no, I don't. I mean, you can look at it, them, and you know, oh, that – they belong with Andy Artho, or they, be- oh, I know that, that they're the, you know. Okay. Because of the, the way they look and stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, first cousins, yeah, we knew first cousins, but when it got to second and thirds, I, I just kind of lost track. I know, yeah. Yeah, and then you moved to Arlington. So how did you find this first job you've been with for so long? How old were you? I was 21. I was... Okay, so I wanted to get off the farm, so I got married. Okay, that's how you, okay. Yeah. And How'd then, you meet him? Or where? Uh, our parents went honky-tonking together. <laughs> 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 they did. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ladies would sit in the back with their drinks, and the guys would drive, and they'd, they'd go honky-tonking, and drink, you know, they had a great time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then... I didn't have one for me, and I wanted to run away, and so I ran to Lubbock, Mm. and uh, I got with this, oh, I told you that earlier, that's why this, okay, so I got this job in Lubbock, and they asked me if I wanted to uh, relocate to to the Metroplex, well, I'm a girl on the farm, I'm trying to find a job. Sure, I'll go. I'll sure I'll move down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I got the job, and then they flew it, flew us down there because uh, we needed to find apartments and stuff. I came off the airplane out of the airport, and that humidity hit me. I was like, oh, I can't stand this. Is too <laughs> <laughs> but they had trees, and mm. up in the panhandle, there are no trees. It mm. is flat. The wind blows. The dirt blows. So I was happy to go to live down by the trees. Okay. <laughs> There'd be a lot of trees. But anyway, so I moved in 1980 and have been into – so many different positions. Like I said, did I already go through that? Uh, a few you said, you said uh, from janitor. I think you did. Oh, you yeah, did yeah. go through your. I couldn't remember what we had talked when. Oh, uh, outside of the outside of the pod. Okay, so what what, what positions? Tell tell us again. Oh, okay. So, I hired in in their accounting department, and because I wanted to make extra money, I offered to clean, be the janitor. So I cleaned on weekends. Got eighteen dollars uh, every time I cleaned it, and that was a lot of money back then. Eighteen dollars. <laughs> wow, that's that's awesome. And then, <laughs> oh, it's it's awesome that you put yourself through there because you wanted to to get to a certain position. So you essentially were getting yourself your your foot in the door, mm -hmm. a step closer to where you really wanted to be. Yep. Wow, yep. that's pretty cool. Okay, continue. So I went into accounting. Um, I did reservations for the company because we're worldwide. Uh, Andritz is based out of Graz, Austria. And so back then it was just Andritz, but then we went, we, then we, what is that? When you open up to... Uh, when you open, oh, when you go on the market, you're 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 not privately owned. You you oh, public oh. public public yeah, yeah. yes on the, on the okay. Market. Well, now we own companies all over the world, and um, wow, yeah. So That's I've crazy. I've I've so when when we first started um, in Lubbock. The Andritz and Grotz wanted to come to the United States, but you had to be sponsored by someone, by another company. Well, Tate AC Pump was right down the street, and that guy knew a guy from Grotz. So he said, we'll sponsor you. So that's how we got to open up. Eventually, then, we dropped the Tate, and now we're just Andritz. Okay. So... Um, it's a small world how things come to be, you know, because now we're worldwide. I mean, we're in China, Australia, South Africa. I, I just can't even think right now where. Wow, we're just that's, everywhere. that's so amazing. And you've been the, with them for like over 40 years. What do you say? Like I'm going to be 45 this year. I don't, I'm going to be a few months short of 45. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, yes, because you're retiring soon. I am, I am. I just gave notice so I can put all my time into jujitsu. Wow. And then I'm going to do a tournament the very next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> what is my crazy? Yeah. Oh, God. So so you joined jujitsu. You asked your son um, what to do because you were hurting, if I remember correctly. I just wanted, I wanted more flexibility okay you know i i'm i've worked out and i do all kinds of stuff. i'm never not doing anything but I, I just wasn't getting rid of that mm. you know and now man you know you know about rolling they get you in some positions <laughs> so how do you feel now great you feel great yep it's a world of difference man and what were you doing right before jujitsu? Because I know you've been working for the past like twenty over twenty five years. We had said or something, um, working out consistently. So right before jujitsu, what were you? Oh gosh, how, how, what was your workout routine? I know I've done. I did water aerobics. Actually, I did water aerobics when I was pregnant with with my son Clay, and I did those up until like two weeks before he was born. So um, I've done. Weight, I don't know, weightlifting in, in, at the Y, um, 
I've done walking. I, I do um, the DVDs. Well, they're not. What are they now? Uh, it's yeah, like those those video workouts. Yeah. So are so over at the Y are these guided by by They're a trainer instructor? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I wouldn't go to them for instructors. But most of the time, I'm self. I can I can work out by myself. I don't have to have anybody. Right. So I go out in my little. I have a she shed. Okay. Out out back, mm-hmm. and I go out there and sl- put those on and and. Do all kinds oh, of Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, those videos. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So um, I think we went back to uh, jujitsu, but you were talking when you, you moved, first moved out, you got married. So uh, that was, did you have uh, any kids? Or how, what happened nope, to that, that marriage? that was the first one. That was just to get off the farm. Okay. That was just to get off the farm. <laughs> and okay. then I got down to Arlington, and, and then I went honky-tonk, and... <laughs> And I found this cowboy standing over there. God, he was a cutie. <laughs> Were you married at the time? No, 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 no. no I wasn't married. Okay, but, but so you left him back, back oh, yeah, in love. Yeah, we divorced, okay. and, and uh, then I came with Andritz and moved to Arlington, and and uh, met number two, and then had and then had my son Clay. Okay. And he's the one that's 30. He's the one going to be 34 next week. Okay. So you met him. And so the, what, what would you say, what would, what, what do you think caused the, in your first marriage? Like what, was it a communication thing or what, what happened to where it just didn't work out? I just wasn't happy it's okay yeah yeah okay and uh so then he you leave him there you come back you find this this hot cowboy, cowboy. looks like a george Strait guy oh, wow. <laughs> yeah okay no but we were good um gosh i hate talking about all this <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> we just <laughs> okay so uh we don't have to we don't have so to talk we were about married that. uh 19 years Mm -hmm. and we divorced and so we were you know where Roanoke is that was like living on the other side of the world from (laughs) where I was working in Andritz which is off of Cooper Street Mm -hmm. that was a lot of driving in fact that's why before we went on our safari because I joined the gym and started working out I'd get up at 4 30 in the morning and get over to the gym because the traffic started getting so bad. So I would get over there and, and work out early, and then I'd be on this side of town. But anyway, so I eventually moved over here and met my next one. <laughs> Number three, okay. Yes. Yes, okay. And so you, you meet him, and how, how do you marry him? Yes, we, we married um I thought he was it. Yeah. But turned out I, he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> it 20 years later and he he wasn't the one. 20 years later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's quite quite some time. Well, so in, in how many sons do you have? Just one. Just one. You're one son. Clay and he's he's it. Yeah. And how was how how was it raise, raising him? Do you remember, was it? He, it was, I felt sorry for him. He was a, an only child. He would have to go to work with his dad. He, he tells me now that he feels like he didn't have a childhood, you know, because he was always working. And I would try to get him involved in, I'd take him on weekends to do different things, you know, so he wouldn't have to be helping dad all the time and anyway when I decided to leave him I brought him with me to Arlington Mm -hmm. he didn't like that Mm. Mm -mm, because he was Roanoke up there in the country so he went back and lived with Gary then Mm -hmm. and anyway he did not like my new husband Mm -hmm. never did Mm-hmm. And that 
turned out to be a problem. Mm-hmm. Turned out to be a blessing, though, because uh, we've split. Oh, so we decided it wasn't going to work. Mm-hmm. We were going to split. That was in January of 2019. Mm-hmm. And in February, I went and had my second mammogram and found out that I had cancer. And luckily, he went ahead and left. So I went ahead. My family all rooted, came, rallied around and was there for me. And so I went through chemo, surgery, radiation. Um, my company was very good. They let me work from home. And I'm still working from home four years later. Nice. Um, but I got through all of that and... I'm so blessed. I'm so happy now that for what I've went through, I guess I'd do it again so I could be right here. (laughs) Yeah. Do you You see life differently now than you did four years ago? Oh, gosh, yes. I've, man, don't take anything for granted. Just, you know, Mm. be thankful for what you got and, um, hmm. So... You go get your, get, get it. It's a checkup, right? A mammogram. And I had checked up, I had had a checkup in November. Okay. They saw something. Okay. But they said, well, just come back in February, which I thought was kind of strange. Why didn't they do something then? Because Mm -hmm. then, well, so I was stage two. I was stage two, but you know, which isn't as bad, but I'm, you know, anyway, they didn't, they caught, anyway, so now here we are. Yeah, yeah, so, so they, 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 you go to the second one, and and they tell you what goes, what goes through, what's like the first thing that, that comes to mind, like, what's your experience when they, when they tell you the, these news? My ex came in with me to the doctor. And he said, now, I'm, I'm this gynecologist. I just found it. You know, I don't know anything about it. I just know you're going to have to go talk to this doctor. And I said, okay, so what's the next step? Well, my ex is over here about to have a heart attack, you know. Um, I just, I guess I just deal with things. You know, when they're thrown at you, you say, okay, what's my next step? Mm-hmm. He was over there freaking out. Oh, I better not go there. Um, well, I dealt with it the best I could because mm-hmm. I had an ex that was being very negative mm. and making me feel like a pile of shit. Mm. Um, this is where it's hard for me to talk. And we don't have to. Yep. You know, we don't have to. Um I think that, you know, as we were talking about this earlier Mm. um, and and I was I was telling you, like one of the reasons of me doing the podcast Mm -hmm. was to, you know, everybody has a hard experiences in life at some way or in some way or another. And, you know, for some people and or for a lot of us, I think a lot of times what happens is we don't really see or we're not really grateful you know earlier saying be grateful for what you have Mm -hmm. and I think a lot of times things happen like really rough thing happens and then and then we start being grateful for the little things right Mm -hmm. so and I was you know one of the one of the reasons um you know, for me to do this podcast that we were talking about earlier is because people like you and a lot of us have really difficult stories, uh, difficult moments, sorry, and, and they get through them somehow. And then, and then, you know, and in those stories, some, a lot of people right now today, they may be going to through something similar through what you went through. Yeah. Right. And so, uh, you know, people are like, oh, some people feel like they're stuck in, in, in a glass of water and they're like, I just don't know a way out. And, you know, there's people that can relate with different stories like that. Mm-hmm. 
and they're like, oh, that's how they did it. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, if anything, um, like, I, and I know it's it's tough to, to talk uh, to talk about it, so we don't have to go there. I, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. Um, we can definitely do There's many things we can talk about, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, so that's out. I'll leave that up to you. Can I keep going asking you questions there, or would you well, rather I mean, talk I, to I'll some? answer if I, I mean, or I can tell you everything. <laughs> it's all, <laughs> and I want to know Julie too, right? I want to know more of you. I mean, I know how awesome you are that you were 66, year, 66 years old, right? Am I correct? 66 Training. in three months. <laughs> in three months. I'm sorry. Almost there. No, no, I am 66. Oh, for three more okay, months. It's like a baby. I'm like a baby. I'm 66 and three months old. Oh, and three months <laughs> old. Okay, okay. Yes. Because I'm getting down. So my retirement, Social Security, kicks in at 66 and four months. Oh. <laughs> okay. February. That puts, that's, I see, I see. Anyway. You're counting them by the months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're 66 and you're training jiu-jitsu, which is actually how we met, right? And here I am learning about you and 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 um and and this this tough moment in life that was just what four years ago, mm-hmm. 2019. Yeah. So you were you were stuck in a and it sounds like you were stuck in a toxic situation. Yes. On top of getting the this news that you don't know what's gonna happen next. And yep. so you and then I think earlier you mentioned he finally left himself. Is is yeah. that yeah he, he, he ended w- up he walking was gonna, out? No, he was gonna leave anyway. I mean, we were cohabitating. I don't like confrontation, okay? I will not argue. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to, I'm because I'm an ortho and mm-hmm. we have tempers. Mm-hmm. You don't want to see my temper. <laughs> so, so I'm not going to. I just shut down. And that's the way I've been with him. And it, that always made him really mad, irritated him worse when I wouldn't fight with him. Mm. You know, but I just wasn't going to do it. That's that's so big because I think like the instinct for mo- most of us is to react, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like somebody triggers you, and it's almost like he was expecting for you to react, but you didn't react. You you and knew it, how to maintain mm-hmm. kind of cool, I guess. I guess I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how how do you always well, been he like was that? So controlling. I mean. If I would say something, he had something to come back. So I just got tired of fight. I mean, I wasn't going to mm. win anyway. So mm. so why waste my breath? So I wouldn't. Well, you just don't. You don't have anything to say about. You know, you just won't fight. I mean, you just won't. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to fight. Yeah. Well. What did he do? What was his line of work? Um, I met him at my company. Okay. And he was outside sales. Mm. Mm-hmm. And uh, very good at what he does, uh, but the alcohol got in the way. Okay. Alcohol, bad. Yeah. Was he a different person when he would oh, drink? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was, a, was it a daily kind of drinker or a weekend kind of drinker? <sighs> I would... I called him an alcoholic. He said, I'm not an alcoholic. I said, you're a functioning alcoholic. No, I'm not. I don't, I, I don't have to. But, I mean, he could, he could uh, perform during the day, or, you know, but come 5 o'clock. And then it wasn't just one or two. It was a bunch. Mm-hmm. And so I would make the drinks, and I would make them as weak as I could, mm-hmm. you know, Anyway, that's another. It's another story. That's alcohol leads to a lot of bad shit, mm. and I went through a lot of that with him. So, um, hence, I don't drink very much anymore. Just socially, a li- yeah. you know, a little. Okay, okay. But, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so he he ends up leaving, and are you, where are you in the process of of your cancer? So 2019, he was gone by April. That was okay. Okay, and then probably in 2020, I had the surgery. 
I mean, it's now my dates. Uh, I um, but but yeah, I'm all Give done. Up I'm all yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am clear. I don't even have to take that cancer pill, whatever that was. Um, okay. I don't know. In fact, when they started first started the treatments, the chemo, mm-hmm. within the first couple of treatments, they said it's going away fast. Mm. So, you know. And but are you still working out throughout this time? I had to quit the Y because I was doing water aerobics and they wouldn't, they said no. Um I I kept walking and I kept doing those videos. Yeah. You know, so my, 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 um, the chemo I had, I had six chemo treatments. The first three went by a breeze. The fourth one, I thought I was going to die. I mean, it kicked in. And so here I was ready for the, the, the sixth one to do the same thing. And I just, breezed by so where was I going with that here yeah. it was it was <laughs> the uh where we were talking about like where uh it was 2020 you had your your surgery um and you're all clear now oh yeah yeah okay so 20 yeah um and so tell me so uh, uh, he leaves and do you think your health starts improving after he leaves or, or you start may- maybe making like progress? Do, do you, are you in a better position after he leaves? Oh, I like, feel like s- mentally. Oh gosh. <laughs> 10, four on that. Good buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, so how, how was it like, uh, how was, how was your, Describe to me maybe like a day when he was there and then maybe a day when he wasn't there. Well, like I said, we were we were civil. In fact, I still okay. cooked for him. I still did all his laundry. I still, I'm a, I'm a Catholic, you know, girl that, I mean, I believe in taking care of your man and doing all that, you know. So that was just my nature. And even when I felt like shit, when I was going through some of my treatment and he was still there, Mm -hmm. I was still cooking for him. And he didn't appreciate even that, you know? Yeah. (laughs) There's another, I think definitely he did not appreciate that at all. Um, based on, based on what I hear. I mean, you're going through treatments, you're, you're going through something. How do you, who, who's your go-to to to kind of vent or do you have my sister? My sister Melinda was my angel. In fact, Jamie went to the first appointment with uh, the surgeon Mm -hmm. and the other one and the other one. I forgot her name. And then the next appointment that I went into and he was gone, I said, we're getting divorced. And they had the biggest (laughs) smile on their face because he was an ass to them, too. Oh, gosh. He was, of course. uh, He was such an ass. He could be so nice. But he could be such an ass. Mm-hmm. Mm. But do you think it was mainly because of the uh, the, the alcohol that maybe just that and I, I or I don't know. He just wasn't happy. I maybe yeah. I didn't make him happy. I don't know what I because <laughs> I didn't fight with him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. So your sisters, uh, your sisters, your angel. You said yeah. She was. A, she's a nurse, and okay. and so she would go to the doctors and listen, and she could tell me. You know, I don't know all that lingo and stuff, so it was a big help for sure. When she and she went to all my treatments with me, you know, my mm-hmm. company gave me a big basket of you know crossword puzzles and and mittens and caps and and uh, shampoo, just different cancer stuff. Uh huh. And and so when I went in for my infusions, I'd have stuff to keep me busy. Mm. Well, I never even got into the books because my <laughs> sister was there and we were laughing. And I mean, it was, <laughs> she made it so much easier. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. So where did, where, how far does she, did she lives in Capel. Okay. And okay. so she was right around the corner. Uh, and then I had uh, a, a, a niece from up in the panhandle, Amarella, that came when I got out of the hospital. She was with me for a week and. You know, so I had support and I had, but then I could be by myself if I, you know, wanted to. And I sure have gotten used to 
being by myself now. You I have, like it. Yeah. <laughs> you, do you meditate or or what? Do you, I talk to God a lot. Okay. Oh, okay. That, I think that's yeah. That's I, like I do need to do that. The meditation where you. Yeah, be you, quiet for that long. I, I I end up talking to myself. I don't know yeah. if I can do that. <laughs> so you talk a lot to God now. That's I do. yeah. I thank Him every day for getting me through this. I mean, I'm so happy because I've got Clay back in my life. See, I lost Clay for a while. Mm. He wouldn't have nothing to do with me. We would we would have dinner maybe once a month or every two months. At Saltgrass, that was our place to go. Mm. And that was all that he would do. He said, until you get rid of him, oh. you are not going to have anything to do with me or my wife or, or any kids we have. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so what do you do? Mm. Who do you go? Who? <laughs> oh, that, what many a choice. people are, are, are put in that position, and, and many will choose the husband. I've done it before. But now this time, Clay, Clay's right. I need to, he's toxic. Look what he's doing to me. Mm, mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. miserable. I'm not happy. I mean, you see me now. I, I In the last 15 years, I have not been this happy. Wow. I, I mean, he drained me. Yeah. And, and there's a story behind that. Would you like to share? Or maybe another time? <laughs> We don't. We don't have to go there. Be, uh, so, you, but your son obviously could see a different you because mm-hmm. he was like it was. He seemed to to almost like force you to see where you were in in your relationship. Yeah, yeah, he did. Did anybody else tell you you had to? No, they never did. But when I finally did. <laughs> What? It's about time. Man, he was such an asshole. God, who didn't know what you saw in him? You know, I'm like, why does everybody wait till after? <laughs> and they say, well, because you wouldn't listen to us mm. if we would have. Mm. And, and, and we don't. You know, we think we're right. You know, you don't know nothing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so I went, <laughs> <laughs> went for all those years. I don't know. I thought. We were happy the first five years, but that's only five of 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I didn't that's... realize, uh, well, there, the story that I could go into, I didn't realize. I wished I would have known that. I could have got out a long time ago. Mm. Did you feel like almost like, like it was an obligation for you to stay? Well, after two other marriages, you think, well, maybe we need to you may need, need, need you need to make this work. Oh, okay. You know. Mm-hmm. But not with Clay. I could. <laughs> <laughs> He was starting to date this girl and and then I'm thinking if he has kids, he he it's just it just ain't right. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. <sighs> just ain't right. Anyway, we're good now. We laugh about it, but <laughs> what's it? I guess like everything is a journey, and maybe that's why even you probably appreciate him. And you mentioned babysitting. Was that mm-hmm. his daughter? Yes. that you were babysitting. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you know, you mentioned you had to kind of go through that rough path to appreciate it even more. And I do. You know, I uh, one of the, there's one, th- uh, I don't know where I picked this up, but somebody said once, it said, you can't feel a 10 if you haven't felt a one. <sighs> Never heard that. You're right, because most people want to stay comfortable around seven, where it's not too bad, but it's not the best. Mm-hmm. And so you can't really feel the 10 when you haven't really felt one and it sounds like you were there many times yeah probably yeah so so you know through through these maybe we don't have to go through the details of these these moments but what was your your mo your your engine at the every morning getting up and going to work get out of the house (laughs) it it was get out of the house i mean yeah like i said we were we were cohabitating, uh, um, uh, 
it, it was. But you were still taking care of him too. Sounds like. Yeah. <sighs> you want to be my roommate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But um. <laughs> Because it sounds like you're just such a great human being. I mean, you guys. Is that a dig at me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, was like, I can't complain, Are actually. You, I can't <laughs> complain. I know y'all have an awesome deal going, I think. He's, he's, he's such a good He's such a good husband. Um, but, but the communication, because y'all are communicating, see. We try. Well, <laughs> my communication skills were not good. Okay. I, I sh- but. He's it was intimidating and it was hard to it was hard to be on the same page with him. Yeah. Did 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 you like uh were did you feel fear at some point being with him? Or maybe even like, like No, I was never scared of him. He no. he was not physical, but he was mental. Mm. So when I got diagnosed and we came home from the doctor. He said, so who's going to wipe your ass and clean the, the puke out of the bed when you throw up? And I said, don't worry about it. It's not going to be you. I mean, that's yeah. that's hurtful. <laughs> I, I just can't imagine saying something to someone after getting such news and still. <laughs> Is he, he, yeah, so... So what do you do? Did you expect that almost that response? Well, here again, I didn't. I didn't say anything. You didn't say. I, no, I didn't because I wasn't. What What could I have said? Right. Would have then come back at me with something else. Right. So I just laid in the bed. Did it sur- Did it surprise you? In a bit, his his reaction. Yeah, because he's a, he's a he's a godly person. He's mm. a Christian. I mean, he's he knows more in the Bible than I do. I mean, he's. Mm. I I don't know why he So what what did what did Cuz I don't think he was when he said that there was no alcohol mm. involved at that point mm. so that was just he was flat out being mean So it you wasn't were, alcohol even he was just an asshole then Did you did you realize when you went home and you're like I'm just not going to engage or to your room sorry and mm-hmm. you're like I'm not going to engage what's What's going through your head at that time? Is it him or is it more like, okay, I need to figure out like what to do with my life because, you know, who knows now no, where I just we're wanted at. To get ri- I wanted him. Go- I'm ready. Okay. He needs to be gone. We okay. had already, we had already set. We didn't even go to a lawyer. We sat down and divvied everything up ourselves. Mm. We weren't going to pay a lawyer to mm-hmm. go back and forth, all that. So we called everything out. Okay. So we already knew what was going to happen, and he had already started loading his tools up out in his garage, mm. you know. And so it was coming already. It was coming. Yeah. And and then and then when a month later, then the diagnosis, and then the comment. Mm-hmm. But I should have just told him to leave. But I don't know. I want how rock the boat. Just let it. You know. Stay smooth. Try to keep your cool, and and he'll be gone soon. Yeah. How how and that was that was February. So February. So, so he he two uh, more months. You he, said April. He was gone. I know our divorce was final mid May. I think he was moved out end of April or something. Yeah. All right. Wh- where were you guys living at the time? Was it a house apartment? So we have a house in town and. We have property out at Brock mm. that we put a camper out there. And, and so that was our weekend getaway. Mm. Oh, God, I loved it. It was peaceful, gorgeous, beautiful. Mm. We worked our asses off. And so when we did, okay, wh- okay, who's, you want the house or the property? And I said, I can't keep up the property. There, that's too much work. I want the house. Well, no, you just take the property and you can. Get mm-hmm. Where was I going with that? Um, so anyway, so you end up staying in the. In so the I, home. I've got the house in town, and which is what I I didn't need to. Be, I need to be here. Yeah, right. You know, I don't right. need to be all the way out there, and and so. Well, I'm glad you're here. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you chose the house. I am. T- 
<laughs> yeah. But it sounds very, very, very civil in a way. Like, okay, we're not going to get it. Well, we were civil, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, aside from... from, And maybe he felt... Maybe there was guilt. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was very close with his dad. In fact, me and him are still very close. His dad cried. Mm. Because when we were at, at the property, we he moved out on the property too. Because... He went through a divorce. He he lost his wife in a... Okay, this is a sad story. Um, Jamie, that's my ex, he lost his grandpa. He went to Amarillo and buried his grandpa. His mom and dad uh, went to, and on their way back, they had a wreck, and his mom was killed. So we buried her, and then two days later, her mom died. It was a horrible <sighs> death. You one know, after another. One after another. Yeah. Um, I forgot where I was going with that, too. Your, uh, your, your ex-husband um, lost. Oh, anyway, so Jack. Jack was so sad. And he said, you better not screw her. You better be fair to her. Mm. I love her and you you bet, you know, you bet. And so he, he was. He was very fair. Did his whole family, was were they very close to you? N- they didn't. <laughs> no, I guess they didn't like me. Okay. Because I never heard from any of them. Okay. Just just Jack and his sister are the only two that ever kept up. Yeah. And I kept a relationship with Jack. I'd he'd come into town and and I'd cook for him and mm. stuff. But then it got hard you know, being around him, then I would think mm-hmm. about him and it's slowly gotten less and less. I wished him he just had a birthday and but anyway, yeah, well, it, it's, it just, to me, it just tells me, like, just what a great heart you have. Uh, I do have a <laughs> huge, <laughs> huge, because, you know, even after being what it sounds like mentally abused, I mean, it sounds like you still care for him in, in a way, like, for for him just to be good and well, he comes into town. You cook, you make him a warm dinner. And oh, that his dad. Oh, that's his dad. His oh, dad, not him. Okay. Oh, okay. hell no, not oh, him. Okay, okay. His dad. <laughs> no, his dad. His I'm dad. sorry. Okay, okay. That no, makes sense. I haven't heard from him. Well, he was jealous of my relationship with his dad. Okay. And and so when he saw a picture of me. Like this, mm-hmm. and he said, "Nice hair." And I said, uh, "Jack thinks so too." Made a comment or something. <laughs> Never heard, haven't heard from him ever again. <laughs> I said, "Well, that's a good way to get rid." Very much so. You're like, I should have done that, that a long time, time ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, but anyway. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So that's that's it's. it's you're 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 basically your for your ex father in law that I uh, he you still to kind of yeah it seems like the ex the ex in laws love me because I'm I'm my ex mother in law yeah would be Clay's grandma yeah we're we've hooked up now that Jamie's gone me and her are BFFs now we you know we go to the tea room we you know we go do this we go do that I go pick her up. Bring her over to watch see Bella. Okay. Because she won't drive. Uh-huh. And she's that's the only way she gets to see Bella. And so she loves it. Yeah. And and so that's another ex yeah. mother in law that lo- that lo- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's what I, I was getting to that that I bet like people like their their families, like you know, yeah. your in laws say like, dang, too bad. She was a good one. <laughs> Jamie, you messed up again. Well, okay. <laughs> I should have known it. Uh-huh. I was number five mm. for Jamie. Okay. But you know what? Mm. He's married number six. Okay. The one that goes way back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Wow. Geez. So okay. So now let's uh, let's let's talk more about like where you're going now. Now you're in a whole different place. <laughs> oh, I'm you're so happy. you're much happier. And look, I, it's when when you and Betsy, when you guys are like in the mats, it's just like it's like a different energy because you guys are always smiling, <laughs> you know, saying hi to everyone, and is and everybody just, else comes in. <laughs> they're not they're y'all are all serious <laughs> so it's like it's a whole different energy with with you guys there and 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 i i love it i i really do because it feels like it feels like it's even like it's contagious now where Good. everybody's just kind of like you know very close it's 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 what i feel and and i think a lot of it comes from from you both, the energy well, you guys bring in the in the in the in the gym. So, where, uh, what's what's what are you looking forward to now? Other after now that you're retiring here in about a month or two, in a well, month, right? Yeah. I don't know. I I I don't see how I can up jujitsu much since I'm doing it four days a week. But I am gonna be able to do other workouts, strength. Okay. Um. Is that going to get to kind of be your focus, maybe to gain gain muscle? Well, strength? yeah. I mean, I just well, you know, I don't look very strong, but when you roll with me, they they all say you're strong for your <laughs> for as old as you are. You're strong, you know. Yeah. Um. And I and I do lift weights, but I just want to get into a better routine. Mm. You know. Um, like a day, like a like a different better routine as in um like your day how it flows or? i think i still want to do the mornings okay that just gets me going yeah you know a lot of people want to sleep in i would i don't know i'd rather go to bed early and get up early yeah yeah actually we were just talking about it because i started going to the evening classes just <laughs> so that the day go flows better but i do like working out early in the, the day much better mm -hmm. than like going once like my basically right b after my day's over yeah basically yeah and then um you know because then we get home and and you know i have like my daughter now but overall even even if that wasn't the case just getting that early workout i it's something about gets everything going you know <laughs> i just love it so have you always worked out in the morning i have yeah in the yeah, morning okay I always Okay, so you've always been also since you can recall like a morning person. Yes, I've yeah, always been. I did the Y at five in the morning. Mm. Um, I don't know. I don't like to work out in the evening. I'm, I like to get my workout done in the morning. Yeah, and then, you know, I got now. I don't have anybody to take care of, but I still cook for myself, and right. I've got all my chores and stuff. I got things to do. So, what is your daily routine now? What do you do? So you get you. Well, I'm working, so mm -hmm. um, sitting in my office from eight to five, eight to twelve, take a break, and then work till five, and then do whatever I do in the evenings. But um, I do some side workouts, okay? You know, uh, lifting weights and stuff. But I think I want to start going into Alvarez and working on out. Do you work on that other side? No, I usually go over to Lifetime, which is about five minutes mm -hmm. right behind Alvarez. Have you have you seen that? Lifetime gym? is that off uh, Matlock? And yes, is that the new one or kind of new? Yeah, it's very big. So if you've driven by there, you won't miss it. And it has an outdoor pool mm -hmm. and stuff. So um, I go there. They offer like also lots of uh different types of classes mm -hmm. if you want to do that they offer yoga they offer uh, uh pilates they offer uh they have uh they have the outdoor pool and then they have the indoor heated pool and then they have a lap pool and they have a uh, hot tubs oh and right next to it they have like they have uh, a sauna and in the ladies room we have sauna and we have a steam room Dang, have have you tried any of uh, any steam room or or sauna in in a while? Mm, no, or ever. Have you ever been in a sauna? Well, I've been no, like a heated room where it's just 
you go in there and it's just hot. Well, no, I was thinking. So my um, my niece, they have one of those boxes in there. Oh, do and, they? Yeah. And and she just posted this morning. Uh, what's hot? One hundred and twenty-seven or something. Ah, uh, yeah, that's hot. Yeah. She says one hundred and twenty-seven. Eighty seconds later, cool pool. Then they have a pool. Oh, okay. she goes and jumps in the yeah. cold water. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so basically that's what Logan and I do a lot. We like to do that to recover. Oh. Um, so we'll just kind of um, almost even see them as like dates. You know, we leave my oh, daughter cool. uh-huh. with my mom. And uh, <sighs> so like I was explaining, like they have like the, the sauna, they have the hot tub, and they have the lap pool, uh-huh. like all within like feet apart from each other oh. at uh, at lifetime. So you go right yeah, so we'll do like say ten minutes in the sauna, mm-hmm. and then we'll jump in the lap pool because it's it's colder than the heated pool, mm-hmm. and then we'll go into the uh, we'll jump into the uh, the uh, uh, um, hot tub, and then hot cold hot cold, and then we'll jump into the pool Hello. again, and then and so I that though that feels. Like really, really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it's if there is something there, uh, but or if it's just like in our brains. But it's it's definitely very much good for for you our feel recovery. Like it does help? Yeah. You? What yeah. happened to your shoulder? You you remember that cast? Did oh, it, right. Yeah. And- so we were rolling, and um, she did the the, the move where. Um, she's like flipping me, yep. like she's on top of me. She's on, on, she was on, uh, t- I think she was at, she had me at, at a, in a half guard. Uh-huh. So like she's, she pulls my sleeve. We were wearing our yees to, uh, flip me and she does. Right. But as, as I'm turning my shoulder, it doesn't do the whole turn and, and I, I can't Eat. use su- my hand for support because she has my sleeve. Yeah. <sighs> Okay. And and I fall and she like so she puts her weight on me. Yes, she should, mm-hmm. right? And um I it was that moment where she applied the pressure and my my shoulder was hitting the mat when it just went Oh, you yeah. And yeah, so yeah. I was like, "Oh." So I it, immediately like it hurt as soon as I moved it. Mm-hmm. So she, you know, she got off and um you know, I I'm it's it's done a lot of uh it it, it's it, it's done a lot of improvement already because um, I can I can move it quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Like there's certain moves that I like if I try to extend my elbow over, it, I it still hurts right here. Or if I try to do certain like if I try to do this right here, it already starts. How many hurting. days did you not roll? It's been three weeks already. You're not rolling right now. No. <gasps> oh. Yeah. I'm, I haven't rolled for three weeks since I hurt my shoulder. Oh. Well, then I saw you signed up, and I thought, oh, my God, she's rolling already. But no, you just signed I up just signed up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I, I hope to be better or at least as close to 100% as as possible Gosh, uh, yeah. for, the, for the day of the competition, which is coming up. Yeah, we'll yeah. be there. But um, is there any chance you and I are rolled together? Um, we, we probably could, as a matter of fact, I just saw a PT this week and, um, um, we, we talked about, she said, uh, it would be good for me to even just kind of start d- drilling, not necessarily rolling because that's more uncontrolled, yep. but we can start, uh, I can start with, with the some drills, s- some drills. Yeah. yeah. So that my muscle also kind of starts kind of getting back in shape and, 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 and doing a little bit with it, but not too hard. So it, I don't also injure it, injure myself even more. Yeah. So, did you Google that red light that I told you about? Oh yes. Yes. And I, I did ask Logan, I, uh, about it. So what do you think? I mean, why not try it? Right. I, you come over, I've got set up. Okay. In my she shed. That's I got right. my table set up and nice. of course I'm doing mine. I've, I do it in my bed. I, very. watching tv and you know do it but no if you want to come over okay yeah yeah it. i forgot i'll i'll definitely have to try it out because at this point i need to you get need to everything i can get to, to for it to recover as quickly as possible so that i can start training for the competition okay we, <laughs> we need to get you you need to 
Well, for you, have you have you have you noticed uh, an improvement for yourself using the the red light? No. I mean, I don't feel anything. No. But Betsy says it's, you know, it's working from the inside. Okay. You know, okay. so it it's probably does things that we're probably not even yeah. quite aware of just yeah. yet. But it, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm down for for trying it out. Okay. Well, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we have a competition coming up. What what else? Uh, what what else you want to get your hands into now oh. that you're gonna have uh, more time? More time, more time. Just not having to be anywhere at any time. You know, just doing what I want when I want. What it's do you like? like? What? What, what 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 do you want? What do you like? Like or maybe any hobbies you would like to pick up? Well, what are you into, honey? Jujitsu is my no. hobby. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I used to do stained glass. Okay. And and you know, crafty shit. You know, but I and, and that's another thing. My ex, you never, you don't have any hobbies. What are you gonna? You don't need to retire. You don't gonna have anything to do. <laughs> I do whatever I want. But anyway, uh-huh. so so jujitsu is going to be my hobby yeah and bella i'm going to be able to watch her more if if the kids need me to and and uh clay's grandma was in the hospital Mm -hmm. and you know when you're retired you can go see them whenever you can't (laughs) wait you don't have to wait till after five and then they're like going to bed right right you know so i don't know i'm just you're gonna do you for now i'm gonna do me for now and and well once I get retired and figure out what all, what all I got, mm-hmm. we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, d- did you ever play any any sports growing up? Nope. Let's see, what did I do? Oh, I was cheerleader. Oh, I was cheerleader at St. Anthony's. <laughs> How many years? Oh, I don't know. Two. Two years, I think. But yeah, and then I tried out at at Stanton, uh, but I didn't get it because nobody knew me. Mm. I tell you what, that took balls to go try out. <laughs> you know, no it, kidding. I guess I have more balls than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're doing jujitsu. Uh, I think that's not even a question. Well, anymore, like it's proven. <laughs> it's proven that. Uh, that you you have something I think probably even stronger than you even think because I don't I mean even it's not like oh yeah we have another sixty six year old lady joining jujitsu it's like no like you guys are setting actual example you know and and that takes that even myself like I thought I had to be a certain way in my physical uh, stage to be, to try to do jujitsu. Mm-hmm. Right. And so like now, now that I think about it, I'm like, these are all really just ideas that exist in our own head because you can say, Oh, well, no, because of this. Oh no, because of that. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're like, Oh, let me go try jujitsu. Okay. What got you there? What got you there? Uh, to me, it was the the seed was planted listening to Joe Rogan's podcast. Okay, so you know he talks often about jujitsu in in mm-hmm. his show because he trains jujitsu, right? Right. right, so, right. And every time they would go into detail and the side benefits that jujitsu brings, such as even how to relate jujitsu into your everyday life, mm-hmm. how it's like how you you see kind of life in yeah it's you, motivation positive jujitsu is pot they're positive people and i don't i don't blame danny for getting on to those kid people <laughs> that you know you're there to you're <coughs> you're there to learn you're yeah. there to get better yeah right and, so and even yes you know uh so so when joe rogan talking about jiu-jitsu that's what would make me think like oh that's i want to i want to do that and but at the time i said i you know i said like oh i thought i wasn't ready i thought i needed to, to be, be in a certain way and i say that because i used to be like 50 pounds heavier 
than I am now. Wow. <laughs> well, and I stopped counting. I might, might have been over that. Yeah. Who knows? I, yeah. I didn't even want to weight myself anymore. Yeah. Um, so then, you know, I started getting, I thought I had to get in shape yeah. to join jujitsu. Did you ask them what they, what you need to do before you start? Or? No. Yeah. I just started working out. Well, it was a few things that kind of stacked on to me losing weight. One of them was jujitsu, right? I'm like, okay, I need, once, once I get to like this weight, mm-hmm. then I can try out for jujitsu. But before that I can't because I'm, I, I just, I oh, just thought, thought I couldn't. Need, yeah. I thought I had to be like smaller. I thought I was too fat <laughs> to draw, to try oh, jujitsu. to do is do jujitsu. <laughs> yes. You'd be dropping the weight. I mean, little did I know, <laughs> little did I know. <laughs> Um, you know, because in my head it was more so I'm going to, I'm going to join jujitsu to learn a skill. Right. I didn't really, I mean, I knew it was going to come with a workout, but I didn't Uh really see it as a workout. Yeah. I don't know what my brain was thinking. I mean, it's more than a workout, you know, it's, (sighs) it's, it's tough and they're right in, in a good way. Yeah. Um, but I thought I had to be in shape first. Yep. That's what everybody thinks. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they say what, well. We need to get in shape before we start. And Danny said, no, you need to just come in and start rolling. Uh huh. And it, I was like, I'm glad I didn't waste all that time. Yeah. You know, that's Cause true. I thought I needed to get my abs stronger, mm. you know, cause I can't roll over when you need to, you know, I mm-hmm. still can't, but it's, well, a lot of it, it's even like, you know, there's a lot of hip movements and it's like oh. telling your, you like your brain telling your body to move the hips like yes you can do it we're just not used to it right right so Mm -hmm. then you have to you know that's that's another aspect where you kind of learn how to communicate with your brain and your body um and so i think that's that's very very uh like it's it's something that you don't expect to get out of in jiu-jitsu at least Mm -hmm. i didn't like the whole okay you have to think about what you're going to do and now your body has to do it. Yeah. And well, then, and then, oh, okay, what did you do wrong? Okay. I have to figure out what I did wrong so that I can try to correct it. And then, um, so it's that whole mindset of, of even just sharpening your brain, not just your body. Well, all I know is I show up every day. I try my hardest and, uh, they say if you just show up every day and try your hardest, you're gonna, you'll get there. So what else have I got to do? Have we always I mean, lived that the, way? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, mm-hmm. how 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 was that born? Did somebody kind of teach you this, or did you pick it up from a book? How did this mindset, or is that just how you I'm are just, since you can remember? That's how I am. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I'm the smartest. Or uh, I, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, <laughs> but I give it my all and, and, um, you know, that's, I, that's... I do my best. And, and anyway, with jujitsu, it's muscle memory. I mean, that's the way I'm get, My son too said, I couldn't remember what all they were mm-hmm. saying. You just, if you do it over and over mm-hmm. muscle memory. Yeah. And I said, okay, then I'm, I'm gold. <laughs> Cause I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, you, and you know, the recipe got two stripes. So I'm doing something. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Wow. Oh. So, uh, when, what's, what's, um, what's one of the biggest lessons you think you've learned so far from jujitsu or from, it, from anything in life? <sighs> Like if you could go back and, and, and give your, your young self advice, like Julie, (laughs) here's this piece of advice for your future. Like if you could go back in time right now. I always say, always have a smile on your face. It just projects positive, you know, it happiness and, Mm. you know, yeah, I, my, my wrinkles are with my smile. Kind of my smile. <laughs> I love your smile. Oh, well, thank you. Hey. But always have a smile. Uh, it, well, because I'm, ha- I mean, I didn't have this smile really four years ago. Yeah, I mean, he didn't. I wasn't happy. 
Mm -hmm. And now I am so happy. I, I just... I feel like I'm saying it too much. Like, I'm so happy. <laughs> no, no. I don't, I don't think you can say it enough if that's how you feel. I do. I I mean, got my son. I'm, I'm, you don't have to worry about a man taking care of me. I'm, I'm financially okay. And that's a big, that's what most women go through life. Are they going to be able to sustain themselves? Yeah. And I always thought I needed a man. Mm-hmm. Damn me! But now, finally, do you think that was uh, one of one of the one of the reasons for you to maybe put up with? Yep, with that. So for it so was. Long? It was. It was. You thought and you when, needed a a man in your life, and 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 I and I, I just want to make sure that I'm understanding this yeah, correctly I because I needed it. I for yeah yeah um for financial reasons. Mm -hmm. I just. And I don't know why, because I've been with my company 45 years. I got money. <laughs> I mean, I, I've been putting into the pot all these years, you know. So, yeah, I'm fine. I just, I don't know why I thought I needed a man. But, yeah, the only man I need is Jesus, my best friend. There you go. <laughs> and yes. Clay, my son. <laughs> There's only two men in my life. Yeah. Oh. And if, if God wants me to have a man then he's gonna send him because mm. i ain't going looking mm -hmm. you know i'm happy living my life and and actually it's better because i'm able to spend like more time with grandma that you know when mm. you're married you don't spit you you just it's all about the spouse and it was all about jamie mm. i was always i kind of wasn't around the family as much because I was trying to keep him happy and do everything for him. And, and I'm so much better now. Yeah. I don't know. I just. Yeah. How, how was it, was it not a very difficult task for you to separate yourself from say family to, to, to be there for him because, or, or was it, or was it an internal struggle for you? You know what I mean? Like, like, cause you, you were, you basically, you were always, always there for him. Right. Mm. Even, even maybe there was some distance. It sounds like even with some family to mm. be for, with him, mm -hmm. was it, was it easy for you? Because that's how you were raised. Like you were doing what you had to do because you were married or was it an internal struggle? Like, Oh, I really should be over there, but I'm going to be right here. I thought that I needed to be, you know, yeah, it was, with, so it was, with your it man, was I mean, uh -huh. with your spouse, You'd, right? you know. Um, not that I didn't have anything to do with my family. We just, it I did everything he wanted to do okay. with his family. Okay. And I never, I didn't say, well, we need to go do this. Okay. Because he was controlling again. Okay. And so I just rolled with the flow. Okay. And because I'm a farm girl and I know how to cook, I became... The cook of the group. The mm. property was runs parallel with the uh, Brazos River. Mm -hmm. And and so we would have people out there all the time and 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 I did all the cooking yeah. <laughs> and the cleaning and I you know, I felt like the maid. After I left, Jack, he said, Nobody's been out here since you left. So I I felt really well, they really used me, didn't they? <laughs> you know what well, I... <laughs> well, maybe, maybe it's the fact that you weren't there anymore. It's like, well, what are we going to do, do? We don't have your, your yeah, energy. Well, yeah. I don't, I don't know. think they, uh, my name ever came up to them again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but... Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but it, it, it sounds like you're in a much better place <gasps> anyways. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you again, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, uh, Julie, tell me, um, what is, and this is, I think we've had like such, such a great conversation. I, I really appreciate you being here because, you know, you mentioned on, on, even when I asked you, you said, you know, you're not much of a talker. Um, so the fact that, that you're sitting here and you're, kind of going maybe back to memories that maybe you don't even want to revisit right right um 
I, I appreciate you doing that. Um, I really, really do. I know it's not easy, but I think it's, I think it's important because what you said, even, even, even the way you are, even just, just saying, Hey, I'm, I'm like, I'm just here and I'm not even going to engage in any, in any like, uh, argument or all, everything that you just said, Mm -hmm. I, I know it's helped me and I hope it helps somebody that maybe was going through something similar or is going through something similar right now. And then they look at you and they may say like, yeah, why am I fearful? <laughs> well, good. If I get to you help know, somebody. And I'll tell you, I, I know people right now that they're in relationships that are mentally abusing. And I know that one of the reasons they are still there is because they're afraid of what's going to happen to them economically. Like, yep. uh, like with, with, you know, just... They don't know whatever it is. And you, yep. you mentioned, like, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I'm fine. I, you had your job. Mm-hmm. Same thing. These people have a job. Mm-hmm. And so when you, when you, now that you're on the other side and, 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 and I can, I can feel like, I mean, I, I didn't even know this whole story before. Um, and, and I, and I mentioned it to you and I mentioned it to Betsy of how nice it is having you guys around. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's literally what I want people to see that everybody has a rough path and sometimes rough moments within the rough paths. I mean, you were in a bad relationship and then you have cancer and you know, it's like one thing after another and, and then here you are living your best life and, um, and, and I'm so grateful to, to get to know you. And I'm, like I said, I'm so happy that, that you're here, even though maybe I put you in in a comfortable chair for a bit. (laughs) This was fine. It really was, but I just, I'm not, yeah, this is hard for me, you know? And who would have thought? I mean, I don't know what's going to come out of this, but (laughs) I hope it's something good. You know, I, I think nothing but, but goodness is to come out, not like in just overall, even I think this multiplies in ways we probably don't even understand because, because you're putting yourself still in a uncomfortable situation and you didn't just shy away and say, no, that makes me uncomfortable. I'm not going to do it. Who knows? I just, I know Myra from jujitsu, you know? screw Myra and you know (laughs) what she gets. I'm not, I'm not going to speak. Right. And I say this because I mean, I've invited people closer to me to the show Uh and you know, like last minute, I feel like they just shy away and they say they can't make it because they get too scared. And, and I get it right. I mean, you were afraid, but that's, that's what I'm, that's literally my point that you're in an uncomfortable situation and you still said yes. And we just met. You know, not very long ago in jujitsu, through jujitsu, through those the pictures of your <laughs> of, of 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 Harvey and your little girl. Yeah. I, you know, I started commenting on all of them, yeah. and, and I just I just love the way we're all meeting. This jujitsu is just so great. That's an added benefit, you know? right? Where you get to meet other great people. Um, that I they're mean, all you, feeling the same way too. They're like, whoa. Yeah. Everybody's learning. We're all learning. I mean, you're a white belt. I'm a white belt. Um, but there's, there's definitely a lot of different levels in our gym uh-huh. and we are all just kind of coming together and, and, and I, I love it. And I thank you for, for being there, setting the bar very high. I mean, you know, coach is always, he he has he's you guys set the bar high like nobody if anybody's excuse it it looks almost like bad you know it's like you have no excuse not to show up to class <laughs> well that's wild oh gosh i know it's tough to do wednesday morning thursday night go home and and i go to bed as soon as i get home so i can get up for friday morning <laughs> Yeah, that's and Thursday that's why night. I kind of like that week, the weekend to to unwind, re- recoup, and you know, 
recover so, for sure. So tell me one last thing, Julie. Um, I want to, I want to know everybody's version of being happy is different. Like for some is maybe certain, a certain reaching a certain position, maybe for others is, you know, reconnecting with their family and other people have just different versions of what happiness means to them. I want to know what happiness means oh, to you. Oh, I don't you. know how to say what am I, I'm happy, happy. No, what, is, what does it mean like when, what, what, is, what does it mean to you? Like what's, how would you define it? Happy? Mm-hmm. What I am. What you are. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> it might, it okay. sounds like, like just having mental, like peacefulness, you I'm would just, say? I'm just, I'm. I'm just so happy. I, I'm so relieved that I don't have the drama and the stress mm. in my life anymore. And now I can, I don't have to have drama. Okay. I don't have to have drama. Yeah. And I can just be you. Be me and, and share my smiles with everybody and hugs. I like to hug too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I, I want to thank you again for, for being here. Well, you're um, welcome. I really, really do, Julie. <laughs> yes. All righty. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>